Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And I get a lot of people saying, do we get in 22H2 and Windows 11 all the things that were missing that we wanted to have? Unfortunately, no, there isn't going to be a lot of the things that people are asking that are coming back. There are some tweaks, some changes, but if we highlight what we know and what's going to be there because of the insider builds that we have here. One is the app folders and the start menu. So now you'll be able to have your apps in folders. So that's one of the things. You will have the ability to resize the app, pinned app area. No, you're not going to have a collapsed or a really customizable option. You'll just have this option, if you go to the start settings, you'll see that there's the more pins, the default, or the more recommendations. And that's three options, not a customizable option where you can resize the way you want. And if you close the, um, you know, show recently used um, files and, and, and stuff like that, you're still wasting space because here it's going to be empty. So that's not fixed, and it's still like that, and it's still kind of weird. Uh, there will be system trait changes, including uh, little pop-ups, like if you change the volume, you have a little pop-up here in the center, stuff like that that are changed. You will also have updated ways of you know getting information about each of the options that you have here. Uh, the uh, notifications area will have a lot more... Uh, different little things that will show up in the way that they are actually going to be uh, popping up in there. And it's more customizable, including with the do not disturb mode on a little less um, of annoyances as you work with your PC. There's, of course, a new spotlight uh, feature for the wallpaper. So if you actually don't have any specific wallpapers, you'll be able to uh, go and enable the spotlight feature, which enables that. Um, you know, the options and the, when you look at the um, widgets panel, still nothing major here. But uh, one of the things that is happening here is that you will eventually, possibly within the next year, have the ability to have third-party uh, widgets, which is something we can't wait for. New voice access accessibility features, including new voices uh, when you want to have everything read to you. Um, so the accessibility features are improved for a more natural voice as they're using AI. So all sorts of things like that that can help, um, especially you know with the narrator and, and stuff like that. Gestures and animation for touch users. Also, tablet users will have a minimized taskbar here, which will apparently be better for you. Uh, of course, there's the new Task Manager app that is being uh, reworked, including what we don't see yet right now. There will be colors, uh, more colors into the uh, apps. So as you see here, it is in dark mode. And uh, there will be colors for the processes. The different things here will be more colorful, easier to make out eventually. Now, the colors are not there yet, but uh, we're pretty sure they're going to make it to 22H2 with the new task manager. And, of course, better OneDrive integration with the File Explorer so that things are a little smoother between OneDrive and your own folders on your PC. If that's pretty much what's going to have. So if it's, you know, probably a lot of you are looking at that and you're like, okay, you're joking. There's not going to be this or that or change in here or moving the taskbar around or nope. Nothing like that is happening. So apparently Microsoft is listening to us. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.